Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to animate this 3D model by rigging it and then using grease pencil to achieve a 2D effect in Blender. The process shown in this tutorial will be a little different than the animation shown. It was a new one that I created with a more polished process, though the details in some areas, such as grease pencil drawings, are lacking. Uh, but feel free to add more stuff and be creative about it. Alright, let's kick things off by creating your mesh. Feel free to go wild here. I will speed past this part. Some shortcut keys to use are... When I tried this, I ended up with a sort of robotic spider. Don't ask. Just make sure you keep the head and legs as individual parts so it's easier to rig it. Now onto rigging. First shift A to create a single amateur. Move it to the hinge of one of the legs, tab into edit mode and press E to extrude out another bone. Make sure that the bone starts and ends of the rotating part. Now go into pose mode and select the rig at the very tip. Go to pose at the top and select inverse kinematic to add IK to bone, click new empty object. This will add an IK to your amateur. Now go into object mode and duplicate this for all the legs. Select all the bones and shift select the main body. Press command P to parent the legs to the body. And oop, I missed a leg. Give me a second. There we go. Now we need to parent the legs to the bone. Make sure your leg is a single object. If they are separate, select everything in object mode and press command J. Now this is very important. In object mode, select the mesh, shift select the bones and press control P to parent with empty weights. Then go into pose mode. In pose mode, shift select the bones again. This should bring you back into object mode. If you are unable to do this, go to the edit tab at the top to uncheck lock object modes. Now go into weight painting to paint your legs. To select the bones in weight painting mode, you have to hold down control and then tab into edit mode. Now you can select different parts of the mesh, hover over the parts you wish to add or remove weights and press L. I first removed all the unwanted weights and then assigned the parts I wanted to move. Tab back into weight painting mode. Select a different bone and parent its part of the leg to it. Make sure to deselect the stuff before selecting again. If you accidentally assigned a part that you don't want, select the bone, go into edit and press remove. This part is a little tedious, so I will fast forward. And 
Olá! Now it's time to figure out the material. Go into viewport shading to see the materials and change to shader editor to edit materials. Select the body and create a new material. On top of that, add the node shader to RGB and color ramp. Set the color ramp to constant to get a defined shadow. You can add or remove different shades and play around with the color. To get a more natural color, take the original color and dim it while increasing the hue and the saturation by a little. Oh, I also hid the amateurs by clicking the little eye. To create more materials for the same object, click the little plus sign. Select the already made material and copy it. Now you can change the color. To add different material for parts on the same object, go into Edit Mode, select the part you want to add material, and click Assign. Here I also added more detail to the robot, where I subdivided by right-clicking. and then assign a color to it. Then take one of the strips, E to extrude, and then scale smaller immediately after. Now press G to grab it and move it a little outward. For the eyes, a different material is needed and that's emission. So create another material, change principle BSDF to emission, and select your favorite color. Now go to the viewport and check Bloom. For other objects, select it and go to Materials. Now from the drop-down, you can select one of the materials you already made or create a new material. Here what I'm doing is creating a new grayish material and assigning the already made materials to other parts of the leg. and then just do the same for all the other legs. And you are done. I forgot to record me making the ground. Just create a cylinder and flatten it. Simple enough. Okay, let me just quickly rename everything for better organization. First, put everything you want to have a black outline into one collection. Then, create a new collection for grease pencils, as we will be creating more later, and then shift A to create a blank grease pencil object. Now, go to Modifier and add Line Art. Select the collection you just created. For the other two, there should only be one thing to select. And voila! Wait, you need a camera, you silly bird. By the way, you can change the camera location with Command Control 0 or go to the camera view with Numpad 0. There, now we can see the black outline. Ooh, boy, it's lagging. Anyways, it should look something like this. And now for the fun part, shift A to create another blank grease pencil object and name it body. And then with the grease pencil object selected, go into draw mode. Now at the top, make sure that strength is at one and unselect use tablet pressure for both radius and strength. Also make sure that the surface is selected and you may need to adjust the offset a bit to make sure the drawing isn't hovering. If you start drawing, you may realize that the line is a little jagged. To change this, go to tool, then, under the brush setting and stroke, turn on Stabilize Stroke. Oh, 
I also created another material for drawing moss and grass. Make sure to turn on fill and change the color to green. I also created these bolts with the circle tool at the side. My big brain forgot this part when making it, so this is a separate clip. To draw grass, you have to switch to a 3D cursor and move the position of the 3D cursor to the place you want to place the grass. In the view at the side, you can select which plane you want to draw from. I chose view so that my screen becomes the plane the grass will exist on. And we're back. Now notice that if we move the body around, the grease pencil doesn't stick on. To make sure it stays on the body, we can either parent it or rig it. For objects without rigs, like this head, we can simply parent it. Select the grease pencil object of the drawings and shift select the head. Now control P to parent the drawings to the object. This time, if you press G to move the head, the drawings will follow. But since, since rigs deform the mesh, grease pencils drawn on those objects must be rigged as well. Now for the leg, which is a little more tricky, but not really. Shift A to create another blank grease pencil inside the GP collection, and name it Leg and go into draw mode to draw whatever you want on one of the legs. It's pretty similar to rigging meshes. You can unhide the, the amateurs. Go back into object mode and parent the drawing to the leg bone with empty weights. While with everything still selected, go into pose mode, shift select the drawing, and then go into weight paint. Instead of going into edit mode and just hitting apply, I decided to weight paint it with a brush as shown. Just do the same for the other legs. And that's it. Well, we're almost there. Now we just need some touching up to do, like background and lighting. For the ground, I created another blank grease pencil object and drew brick-like patterns on top. For the grass between the crack, same as the little grass sticking out of the robot. I changed the surface to 3D cursor, moved the 3D cursor to one of the cracks and started drawing. For the background, change the viewport shading to rendered. It might look something like this at first. We first shift A to create a sun, adjust the angle to what you like it. You might want to adjust the bias to get a better looking shadow. You can also go to render and under shadow. You can increase cube size and cascade size to get a crisp shadow. Now for the background, go to viewport shading and change object to world. I will be showing you two types of background, gradient and constant. For the gradient background, the nodes should look something like this. For constant background, first shift A to add light and two backgrounds, then a mix shader to connect the three. Connect the mix shader to the world output. By changing the color of the top one, you can control the shadow. The bottom one changes the background color. Hopefully this video was useful to you in some way. If so, please subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks for watching.